Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these geometrical flowers, diamond shape earrings with delica beads and brick stitch. If you're not familiar with the brick stitch, don't worry because I'm showing it step by step so a beginner would be able to make them. Consider subscribing with the bell if you still haven't, liking, sharing and commenting. Also you might want to support me as members which comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Without further delay, let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 old Delica beads, red, white and silver. Here I'm using earring findings. This is fire line that is 0.05 inches or 0.12 millimeters. This is size 11 beading needle and these are scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, so what I'm going to pick up at my first step are two white beads. I'm going to slide those down and as I'm exiting through one of them, I want to go through the other one and I'm pulling. And now you see when I pull, I have them next to each other touching side to sides with the holes pointing in one direction. Okay, then I'm going to take just one white bead and I'm going through this white like this and now I want to reinforce by going through them one more time okay, like this like this and like this okay and I have these guys now in my next step guys I'm taking a white and a red bead and I'm going to start the familiar brick stitch but if you don't ever heard about it don't worry because I'm gonna be showing it step by step Okay, so I take a white and a red one and you see this thread bridge that I have between my two beads. I'm going under it and I'm pulling. Now I will go through the red bead which is closer to the center of my next row. Okay, and I pull and I have this. Then I'm going to take one more white bead and I'm going guys under the same thread bridge that I've been through in my previous step. Here I have only one thread bridge and I'm attaching three beads to it. First white and red and then one more white bead. Okay and as I go under the thread bridge then I go directly through the white bead. And when I pull, I have this. Okay, I flipped it this way because it's easier for me. Now I will continue with my next step. Okay guys, and I need a white and a red bead here. And I will be increasing in my next row. I will have more beads than in my previous row. That is why I'm going here under the first one of these two thread bridges that I have. Okay, I go like this and then what I want to do is to go through the red one which is closer to the center of my work. Okay. What I want to add next is a red one and I go under the next thread bridge again and then Again, I go through this red one and pull. And here I need to add a white one and I'm going under this first thread bridge that I have. And through the white one again. 
you see I have just increased my work I mean I have four beads here and in the previous row I had three and I continue increasing a white and a red I go under this first thread bridge that I have here I pull and I go through the red one which is closer to the center and pull then I need a silver one I have my next thread bridge to go through and then I go through the silver here is what I have another red one next thread bridge in each row only the first I first step I add two and then I add them one by one okay and when I increase guys I always add my last bit at the same thread bridge that I've been through with my previous bit okay I have this the next row I start with two white beads go under the first thread bridge and then I need to add two red and two white beads one by one okay and in this row I start it again the same way because I'm increasing I'm going under the first thread bridge then through the one that is closer to the center and in this row I will add one two three white one red and three more white beads okay I'll do this faster and then continue one by one Okay guys and this row I started absolutely the same way
with two beads and going under the first thread bridge. And now what I need in total are four white beads, one silver and four white beads. I'm continuing one by one. Okay, and the same way the last one is at the same thread bridge. And in next, next row I will be alternating two white, two red, two white, two red and two white. I start the same way with two and then I continue one by one. The last one is at the same thread bridge. And now I add three white, two red, one white, two red and three white. Okay, and I will take my other earring to be like my pattern here. And you see, I just added this row and now I need to add one white, three red, one white, two red, one white, three red and one white bead. And I start with one white and one red. Go under the first thread bridge. And I continue the same way one by one.
Okay, let me see what is my next row. I'm watching from here. Okay, I need two white, four red, one silver, four red and two white. Let me show it faster. Okay guys and let me see what I have in my next row and it is this one 3 white, 3 red, 2 silver, 3 red and 3 white beads. Okay, I always start with 2 as you know. When I increase this means until the middle and I always go under the first thread bridge and through the one that is closer to the center and from now on I continue one by one Okay my friends and in my next step I will be making my widest row of my earring. It consists of two white, one silver, three white, silver, red, silver, three white, one silver and two white. And this is the last row guys where I increase. So again I take two and go under the first thread bridge. And in the next row I will show you how I decrease.
Okay, my friend, and this is the widest row that I do here. And then I will start decreasing and I'll show you what it means. Now the next row you can watch from here is three white beads, three red, two silver, three red and three white. And it is absolutely the same like this row here, the previous before the widest one. And from now on, this part will repeat this part. So now when I decrease, again, I start with two beads, but the difference is that I go under the second thread bridge here, guys. Okay, I go under the second thread bridge, again through the bead which is closest to the center. Another difference is that I want to reinforce, you see how these beads stretch because they go under the second thread bridge and they don't look good. That is why I need to reinforce them, creating a new thread path and making them stay nice and tight next to each other. Okay. As I said, it is three white beads here. three red. Now you mirror this row. Okay guys, and I did another row this time decreasing and it is almost the same like increasing with two small differences and I will show you one more time what they are. Okay, now I'm at this row. I just added this row here and now I'm at this row where I need two white, four red, one silver, four red and two white beads. Okay, I'm starting with two white and I go under the second thread bridge, not under the first, but under the second. This is the main difference that I have when I do decreasing break stitch. And then I go like this. And the second difference is that I reinforce. Otherwise, it is absolutely the same thing, guys. And now, guys, I'm sure that if you're up to here, you will be able to make the rest of your earring by yourself. Uh, only zoom in, pause and watch from this earring and continue the same way or watch from this part of the same earring that you're doing. And when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. And here I am guys, where I'm adding my last two beads from this row. And I do it the same way, I go under the second thread bridge. Here I have two thread bridges, but I still follow the rule that I go under the second thread bridge when I decrease. Here I have one, two, three beads and in the last row I have two. I hope you have done your earring up to here. If not, just pause on this frame and do this. Now, what I want to do is to take 
my earring finding and I want to add it here and reinforce. Okay, and I make a loop, I go twice through the loop I've made, I pull and I go through some beads in this direction and I cut this tail thread. Okay guys, and now my diamond shaped geometrical flowers earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i make new tutorials usually once or twice a week and you will be inspired often also please like share and comment and you might want to support me as a member that comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button thank you so much for staying here with me until the end now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching